Well, well, well. This one was truly a shocker. I'm Satomi, and I'm with Inanimate Public Radio, here with the exclusive exit interview of the most recently eliminated contestant. Well, well, well. This one was truly a shocker. I'm Satomi, and I'm with Inanimate Public Radio, here with the exclusive exit interview of the most Well, well, well. This one was truly a shocker. I'm Satomi, and I'm with Inanimate Public Radio, here with the exclusive exit interview of the most recently eliminated contestant, Cabby. I'm sure you're all excited to hear about this and that, but first and foremost, how are we doing today, Cabby? Excited to chat. I think it could be really helpful for me. That's great. We're all about reflection here at IPR. So, Cabby, what do you think is the most valuable nugget of wisdom that you took away from competing on the show? You can't trust anyone. Oh, is that it? Yikes. Uh, jumping right into it, huh? How about this? Do you feel like you can't get over the test who betrayed you? Or would you say that you sort of respect her strategy? Listen, betrayal for the sake of the game? That I can get over, but our partnership, our friendship, our... We would have been so strong together. It brewed with potential, and I just don't know why she'd throw that away. And that feeling of not knowing, that's what hurts. Well, there's obviously something you did that seemed to upset her and everyone else. Can you talk about why you made files about other people in the first place? I did it so I could understand them. And how long do you research for your files? Clearly not long enough. Right. Still, though, I gotta hand it to you. Your work can be pretty impressive. Like, when you had the immunity vote results in episode 4, how'd you even convince Mephone to give you those anyway? Cookies, obviously. Second item on his profile. Yeah, if only everything was that simple. But, uh, you know, back to some complicated stuff here. Was there something you think you could have done differently to prevent yourself from getting eliminated? When fans stole that file, I knew he couldn't be trusted, which is why I voted him out. But when I tried to build trust with TestTube by willingly sharing files, that got me voted out. If I could go back, I guess I should have just... not trusted. Hmm. I guess you wouldn't consider yourself very extroverted then, would you? Would someone extroverted require constant input from other people to feel alive? Why, yes. Have you been interacting with Indefinite Island's other inhabitants? Or are you just minding your own business there? Well, I quickly deduced that not everyone wanted to stay, which I learned by process of elimination. Oh! <laughs> I didn't even intend that! Oh, that's good. But yes, one inhabitant in particular, the walkie-talkie, gives us all a choice to stay or go. She sure seems to favor one side, though. Seems like you chose to stay. And since you're here, let me ask you about this, Cabby. What rhymes with orange? Do you have that in your files? Mm. Why, yes, there is one word that rhymes with orange. I won't tell you what it is. Think about this, Cabby. What rhymes with orange? Do you have that in your files? Mm. Why, yes, there is one word that rhymes with orange. I won't tell you what it is. Unless you ask me for my fruit file really nicely. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's okay. I, I was just messing with you. Uh, next question. Um, what... It's orange. Sorry. I just... I had to tell you. Thanks. Yeah, m much appreciated. Wait, is that a real word? Never mind. Um, what else do you have in those files anyway? Anyone of interest? You know, any any cool facts that you know about people? I've always been intrigued by Yin Yang. Their primary constant is that there is none. If I were placed on a team with them, I would need to absolutely distance myself if I were to have any level of predictability in my gameplay. And as a fun fact, one of them is deathly afraid of merry-go-rounds. And it's not Yin. Yeah, I, well, you know, the merry part has always been kind of misleading to me. Alright, out of everybody left, who do you think is the biggest threat to win the game? Well, I think by all metrics, I have a splendid chance of... Oh, sorry. Had. Had a splendid chance. Tenses, huh? <laughs> I hoped that Test Tube and I could make a fearsome duo, but since that didn't quite work out, I'd keep a keen eye out for Nickel and Bloom, or Goo and Bo. Quite a duo of duos. Pairs like that, they're hard to come by. Seems like you're pretty beat up by the loss, huh? What made you want to win so badly? Because I was the only one playing. I even wrote an instruction manual, though I feel that's a file I won't be sharing with anyone. Pretty amazing how much faith you have in your own writing, Abby. Why do you expect that people are always going to act the way that you write them in your files? Because they do. It's 
fascinating, frankly. Everyone runs on the same habits over and over again. Silver makes others work for him. Paintbrush obsesses. Bo is dead and inexplicably back alive with absolutely no possible explanation, which is driving me up a wall and I haven't been able to come up with a single feasible theory that works. Everything in my files about them is accurate. They just don't want to admit it. Even if that's true, um, do you ever, like, feel guilty about what you've written, though? I didn't used to. Did you feel the same when you wrote the file on yourself? What? A file on myself? No. No. <laughs> no, that'd be silly. Wacky, even. Do I look like a clown of a gal to you? Never, ever would I ever even conceive of the mere notion to... All right, this is going nowhere. Look, um, what about Test Tube? Were these files part of your long-term plan with her? Sort of. I can evenly divide the plan into precisely three pieces. I am a piece, Test Tube is a piece, and our combined strength is... was... a piece. There's those tenses again. <laughs> Everything I was recording indicated that Test Tube would lend me something a little more subjective than I have been able to convey in my writings. Something... warmer. But here we are, after a cold knife to the wheel. Look what putting yourself out there gets you. Hey, Cabby, I don't think you did anything wrong. Seriously? After all of this? Well, it doesn't matter what I think, you know. What I want to know is if you think that you did anything wrong. If I did nothing wrong, I wouldn't be here right now, would I? I know I'm wrong, and I want to figure out how to win people over. And you know what? I think this ominous island is just the place to start figuring that out. Yeah, this is exactly where I need to be right now. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Next question, um... Okay, you can leave now. Thank you for chatting with me today, by the way. Bye! Oh, what? Well, bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in to today's exit interview segment. And to our favorite one-star taxi service, Cabby. All questions for today's episode come from our amazing Inanimate Insanity patrons. And you can join too with the link in the description. This interview segment. And to our favorite one-star taxi service, Cabby. All questions for today's episode come from our amazing Inanimate Insanity patrons. And you can join too with the link in the description.